Okay, so it's Tuesday morning, start of my second full day. It's another glorious day, so that's good. Am I a boy or a girl? Well, that's original. It's almost like being in England. Okay, so I found the tanneries. Uh, managed to get there without a guide. Um, but all the stories are true. Uh, I wanted to just walk in and have a look around, but a guy stood in my way, wouldn't let me go in. Said that I could only go in if I had a guide. So I said, okay. The only reason I went there was to take photos of the people working in the tanneries. But he said I couldn't do that because they were Berber and they didn't like their photo being taken. So I could only do distant shots, which is completely useless to me because that's not what I'm interested in. So I was allowed to take a few photos and they're not going to be worth anything. Um, and then and then he took me to the shop and tried to start, started trying to sell me carpets, which is I expected. And uh, didn't really want me to leave. Eventually I managed to say that I didn't want carpet and I didn't want shoes and I didn't want a blanket. And I, I, I walked past the door and I nearly legged it because I knew what was coming. But I decided to be polite. And uh, I said I wanted to go and I left and he says, that's 200 dirim. And I said, I'm not paying 200 dirim. So I offered him, offered him five or 10. And then his mates surrounded me and started staring at me. They didn't get aggressive, they didn't start shouting, but they, they were all looking at me. So I ended up gave him 20, bought them 200. And they all stared at it and go, mm. they just said, uh, British. Okay. Oh, well, at least I escaped from harm. I'm not going back there. <laughs> if you think about it, it's really rather unfortunate paying to go to a place to take photos of people in a place with people that hate having the photos being taken. <laughs> Maybe I should have kind of researched it better or something. I've got lots of photos of market stalls and very few of people. I need to rebalance that somehow. I'm not sure how I'm going to do with it though. So that's one and a half days photographing the suits and I feel absolutely relieved that I don't ever have to go in there again if I don't want to. Probably not, I might do. I feel this strange sensation. It's, um, I think it's calmness, relaxation. I think. What? I'm not quite sure, it's been a while since I've experienced it. I hope it stays. When you have to pay everybody you take a photo of, you run out of money really quickly. <laughs> so after a, a long day's photography, or rather two long days of photography, I decided that I wanted to go and get a drink. But where I'm staying in Medina, it's kind of alcohol free because it's, uh, it's Muslim. So I had to get a, a bus out there to Newtown. And I didn't want to hand the bus driver uh, notes that you have to change them to the side to get some change. So I went to an orange juice cellar to get a bottle of water and I handed him a 100 dirham note. Uh, and he gave me 25 dirham change, but I think it's basically a bottle of water cost me like five quid. I'm like, hang on a minute. You're like, this isn't right. He goes, oh, you gave me 50. I said, no, I gave you 100. So he goes, oh, I'm sorry. And then gave me a few more dirham and said, that's still not right. And he kept on cadding me a few more coins in the end I gave all. Um, so I've got to the new town. Uh, but uh, it's hoping to meet some other people, but I haven't done that.